Our thaumaturges took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How could... <laughs> I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadan Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Forgive me. This calls for a map. We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely the Confederacy. Said maritime collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea. And thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll-takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. 
And should we find that they are still in Kragane, we can make the journey together. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability. He's late. Endless and most sincere apologies to you and yours, yes, yes. This way, this way, quickly now. Enough! Where are you taking us? Where is the ship? This ship, this ship! So very sorry to inform you, yes, yes! Long before was it pledged to another! To me, to me! These ones are for Doma! I knew it couldn't be this simple. Nothing personal, yes, yes, just business. Then business is about to take a turn for the worse. Ah! Come on, let's find a way out of here. Stay hidden and quiet. Understood? Clear the road! Clear the road! You there! Korjin! We seek four foreigners. One, a brutish woman carrying an unconscious Namazu. Have you seen them? Four foreigners, you say? Ah, yes! Very rude they were, making no apology as they barged past. They went that way, I think. Many thanks, good sir. With me, they cannot have gone far. All is well. 
The Sekisei Gumi will not return this way for some time, I should think. You are of the East Aldenard Trading Company, yes? Come with me. I know a safer way. You are returned, and with guests, I see. Our meeting went about as well as expected. We've brought the Namazu who thought to betray us. When he wakes up, we'll see what he knows about Yugiri and Gazetsu. Well done, you. When I saw the Sekisei Gumi out in force, I did begin to worry, but I see my fears were misplaced. Actually, if it weren't for Soroban, we might not have gotten away. Twas my pleasure. Yet I must ask, Soroban, why would you deceive the Sekisei Gumi to help us, foreigners of whom you know naught? Why, out of the kindness of my heart, is what I would like to say, but my motives are not so pure. I chanced to witness your meeting with Hancock at the tavern and saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Like many, I came to Kugane as a trader to make my fortune. Kojin of the Red may serve the Empire as mercenaries, but Kojin of the Blue walk a different path. Regretfully, most here would rather not meet our gaze, much less do business. So I seek the custom of those less predisposed to dismiss us outright, namely the East Aldenard Trading Company. Quid pro quo, is it? Well, there is no denying that we owe you a debt. What say you, Hancock? Will you consider doing business with our entrepreneurial friend here? Rest assured, Master Soroban, that in matters of trade, the company does not discriminate. We would be honored to hear your proposal. I promise you will not regret this, good sir. Ah, yes. You sought passage across the Ruby Sea, did you not? I have a ship you can use. You do? Well then, far be it from us to refuse. You have our deepest thanks. And you mine. <laughs>